Hi everyone, Anthony here from Digital Creator, and in today's video, you'll learn how to sculpt without using clay. That's right, we're going to do it digitally, and you don't even need to be a skilled artist in order to get started. We're going to be using Sculpt GL, which is a free online sculpting app that you can use on any device with a web browser. I recommend sculpting on a touchscreen device with a stylus, otherwise using a computer and mouse is the next best choice. For this tutorial, I'll be using a tablet with a keyboard and stylus to sculpt the bust of a lawn gnome character, but you can mold anything you like. To start, head over to SculptGL using the link in the video description. By default, a sphere will be available for us to sculpt on top of. However, it will be easier to sculpt a humanoid being if we start with a different base. I'm going to clear my scene by going to the Scene tab and clicking Clear Scene. Then I'm going to import my humanoid base by going to Files and clicking the Add option. From here I'll select the humanoid base.stl file and you can download this file using the link in the description. Now before we start sculpting, let's go over how to navigate within SculptGL's interface. To rotate or view, click or tap or drag anywhere within our scene that isn't our model. Zoom in and out using your mouse's scroll wheel, or tap and pinch the screen with two fingers if you're using a touchscreen device. Move or pan your view by clicking and dragging the middle mouse button, or tapping and dragging two fingers on your touchscreen. If you ever need to reset your view to the way it was, go to the camera tab and click the reset option. Now we're ready to start sculpting. With the brush tool selected under the sculpting and painting options, you can click and drag on your base to start building it up. You can also adjust the amount that's built up by changing the intensity setting in the side panel. Increase or decrease the size of the affected area by changing the radius in the side panel as well. You don't have to just build on top of what you have either. You can do subtractive sculpting by holding the Alt key as you click and drag, or you can turn on the negative sculpting option in the side panel here. And of course, if you make any mistakes, you can undo and redo your last action by going to the History tab and clicking Undo or Redo. As you're sculpting, you may notice that whatever sculpting we do on the right of our model also appears on the left. That's because the Symmetry option is turned on by default, and you can turn this on and off at any point during your sculpting. If at any time you wish to save your sculpture for working on in the future, go to the Files tab and click on Save.SGL. This file that you download can be ported into a future session by using the File Add option. You now know everything you need to know to start sculpting. For the next while, I'm going to show you sped up footage of me sculpting my gnome character before I go into how to digitally paint your own sculpture. All right, here we go.
Alright, so my sculpture is looking good and is ready for painting. In order to do so, select the paint tool from the sculpting and painting side panel. And in order to change the color, go to the albedo setting and adjust it accordingly using the color picker. Now you can start clicking and dragging on your sculpture to fill it with that color. And of course you can go back to the albedo option to change it to a different color. If you want to use a color that you've used previously, turn on the color picker option in the side panel and then select the color that's available on your model. Then go right back to painting as you'd like. Keep painting until your entire sculpture is brimming with color. If you want to go back and make some changes to your sculpt, you can just select the brush tool again and make your edits as desired. And that has been the basics of digitally sculpting. I hope you had fun creating your painted sculptures, but what more can we do with them? Well, you can take a screenshot of your work and share it with us on social media using the hashtag digitalcreator. Also, you can save your sculpture as a .stl file and have it 3D printed. Or even better, you could save your sculpture as a .obj file with the obj color append option enabled and then use it for augmented reality. AR, or augmented reality, is essentially looking through a screen to see an alternative reality where your 3D models exist. In fact, our program lead from Timmins, Ontario has a tutorial in the making for getting started with augmented reality. I highly recommend watching it. And the link will be available in the description when the tutorial has been released. Until then, have fun everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!